Continuing to field questions for you, similarly, I have a student from within the Telegram group who wrote a big fucking paragraph of a question that started off by saying, I reset my UWorld two weeks ago, and in parentheses, yes, for a second pass. And this is immediately what I'm going to address uh, because I've mentioned in many of my prior clips not to fucking do a second pass of UWorld, okay? And I'm going to discuss why you shouldn't do a second pass and instead, what should you do? Okay, so before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. So uh, why not do a second pass of UWorld? It's because UWorld is super fucking long already. One pass is sufficient. And we have copious NBME material that is critical for you to get through for maximal score augmentation that uh, if you are doing a second pass of UWorld almost always for students, that will mean you're not gonna be able to get through the NBME content like you need to. So what should you do instead? As I said, for the second part of this clip is for step one, I'll do this for step one, step two real quick. For step one, you're gonna do all of UWorld a single pass. Then you're gonna go into the offline NBME material. You're gonna do NBMEs 20 and 21. If you're scoring above, 60 to 64 ish percent on those forms. I want you to proceed through the offline forms 20 through to through 24. If you have, if you're scoring under 60 to 64 percent on forms 20 and 21 offline, I want, to, I want you to go back to your U world incorrects, not a second pass of U world. Holy shit. Okay. Just U world incorrects. You need to remediate. Your scores aren't good enough yet. Sorry. So you're going to do forms 20 and 21. If you can break about 65%, I want you going on to 22 through 24. Then you're going to do free 120. Then you're going to do, do the online forms 25 through 30. Then you're going to sit, pass, fill exam. Not dramatic, not complicated. For step two, it's a bit more complicated because you've got those of you who are uh, taking step two following rotations. You get those of you who are post-grad, but you need to do all of UWorld. Okay, that's standard. Then you're going to do all the clinical master series forms, NBME subject specific forms. There's 44 forms, including the offline ones. Then you're going to do offline NBMEs 6 through 8, free 120. Then you're going to do a second pass of the CMS forms. Yes. So not a second pass of your world. You're going to do a second pass of all the clinical master series forms. Then you're going to do online NBMEs 9 through 12. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.